natural disaster is not an easy thing. And it's something that you hope and pray that you make it out alive because you don't know what you're dealing with. At the end of the day, it was four states that was hit with a quad state tornado. It has come to my understanding, it was 22 tornadoes that hit in one night across four states. And I said, my God, my God, my heart dropped when I heard this. And how I first heard about this is that six people got killed at Amazon due to a tornado in Illinois. Police in Illinois are working to get everyone out of a warehouse after a tornado ripped through. We're getting new video of the damage this morning. This is an Amazon warehouse located in Edwardsville, Illinois, just east of St. Louis, Missouri. As you can see there, extensive damage. The roof has collapsed or was ripped off, and there are reports of people trapped inside the building. Right now, it's not clear how many people are trapped or any word on their condition at this moment, but this is a developing story. Crews are still out there working. We'll keep an eye on it and update you throughout the morning. I said my condolences goes out to anyone that was affected and passed away in this tragedy. Why are citizens of America is suffering at the hands of bad leadership? Where were the governor and the mayor and also the employer's leadership in this dealing? I'm saying... A lot of people on the news comment is saying that people had gotten emergency warnings about these tornadoes. Why wasn't the governor and the mayor doing their due diligence to make sure there was an emergency evacuation? Why are employers allowing employees to go to work when there's a, a tornado warning? Are you crazy? Are y'all out of your mind? Y'all gots to be. Cause at the end of the day, the governor and the mayor should have made sure everybody was evacuated out of all of these four states and made sure they got the safety. I'm just saying, I thought that was the job of a governor to make all people it is out of harm's way, out of a natural disaster. It should have been an emergency evacuation. Why was that not in effect? Why employers are not telling their employees to stay home? Worry about your safety first. Five. One woman who did manage to escape captured these terrifying moments on Facebook Live. We are trapped. Please, y'all, get us some help. We're at the candle factory in Mayfield. Please, please. Shut up. Y'all. Y'all, please send us some help. Somebody, please send us some help. Feel first of all, thank you so much for joining us during this time. Our, our hearts and prayers are certainly with you and and your employees. Uh, of course, the governor described yesterday that it would be a miracle if any additional people were found alive inside the factory. Anything that gives you hope at this point? Well, I mean, I guess we had two miracles yesterday afternoon because they did find two additional people. Um, you know, I do agree with the governor that I do believe it's a miracle. Um, this this devastation is unimaginable, and uh, you know I, I do believe that um, it, it's it's amazing the amount of uh, lives that have been saved uh, with such devastation around us. So. Have we not learned from history? Have we not learned from history repeatedly of these things happening? 
the governor and the mayor should have made sure that people was out of these states for their safety. Why is the government not making sure that protocol is in place? Why are they not going to people's houses and calling people to make sure they have another place to stay in another state where they know there are no to tornado warnings? Why, if people do not have a family and don't have no other way to go, why if the government is not paying for people hotel stay to stay in another state? Because at this point, when a natural disaster happens, people do not have money, okay? They do not foresee natural disasters and say, oh, I got money to travel somewhere to stay. And I said, at this point, a person is homeless. And I said... The government get money for homeless people. They should be able to have money to keep people in a hotel and pay for the estate at that point. And leadership got to do better at the lives of people. How many more people have to die? And I say, if anyone had gotten an emergency of, um, about tornadoes, One thing we're not going to do is play with our lives, okay? If you get a warning saying that is a tornado warning, uh, an emergency, we're not going to play with our lives, our family lives. We're not going to nobody's factory. We're not going to nobody's employment. What we're going to do is pack up our stuff and get out of Dodge. It doesn't matter if the tornado hit or not. You cannot play with natural disaster. How many times we have not learned from history? Do y'all not remember Hurricane Katrina? Nobody evacuated Hurricane Katrina. The hurricane hit. It was a disaster. Have nobody learned from Texas, okay? Have nobody learned from New York, Hurricane Sandy, Hurricane Sandy not just hit New York, it hit New Jersey, it hit Connecticut, it hit everything. That storm was real. And I said the government and employers need to go back to the drawing board when it comes to natural disasters and emergency plans. There got to be better communication from the government to the people. And I said, for people who work, we got to know when to say enough is enough. Okay? My life is more important than a check. You will not risk my life for profit. Okay? The main thing is, if you get an emergency, you cannot play with natural disaster. Get your things and pack your things up and get to safety. Take you and your family and get to the safety that you need. You and your family is more than important than the check. I said, some people say we're here today and we're going tomorrow. No, we are here today and going today. At the end of the day, hug your loved ones. Kiss your loved ones. Tell them that you love them each and every day. We're just like food. We all have an expiration date. Only God knows the day or the hour when we're going to go and how we're going to go. And when somebody said it was 22 tornadoes hit, I said that was a lot. That was a lot. And I said, is God trying to tell us something? I think God is trying to tell us something. I don't know what it is. But God is definitely trying to tell us something.